Hello and welcome to the Scapular Apostolate. My name is Timothy Schultz and today we're going to talk about some encouraging things as we approach Advent, some practical things that we can do uh, all of us. So, but first let's start with a Hail Mary. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So Advent begins this Sunday, and as we all know, it's a time to remember that we are sinners. It's a time for us to do extra penances, do extra sacrifices, to, so that we can obtain eternal life. And a part of making this journey through Advent can be praying extra rosaries. And I was reminded of this as I received an email uh, from a certain woman, and she had a couple quotes, which I want to read to you. So she says, whenever you get in the car, get on the phone, call somebody far away or at home, pray the rosary, give Mary the praise on every road and all the highways. And here's another one. Out there is wild say a rosary per day per child and the last one which i think is my favorite of rosaries we must say many for many are not saying any and i i think this is our mission and there's another phrase she has here which is road rosary rally and this is the point we are in the car a lot of the time uh, whether you're going to work or you're coming home from work or you, you're on a business trip or something, we are in the car so much. Just look at the miles that are on your dash. Most most people have, you know, a lot, they rack up a lot of miles. And when you're in the car, again, I'm guilty of this. Uh, you know, I've traveled a lot between Chattanooga up to New York. When you're in the car, you can get tempted to just throw on some mindless music and just get lost in that music. But if you think about it, this is a time when you can really take the rosary and pray. And not only that, but you can call somebody. You can call a brother or a sister or your mother or your father, and you can actually pray the rosary together over the phone. Don't waste the time that's been given us. And in the car, if you have a long journey, there could be hours where you're just lost in the music or lost in thought. And it's not bad to think, but it's not bad also to grab that rosary and pray as many as you can. It is true. There's not many people praying the rosary. We need to bring that back. Our Lady requested that we pray the rosary daily, say a rosary every day. And in all honesty, we should be doing all three mysteries. I have not perfected that yet, uh, but I'm working towards it. it. It is a discipline. It's like working out. You've got to keep doing it over and over and over and over again, and you will build up the fortitude to complete it. I know that that is a fact because the Blessed Virgin Mary wants us to do this, and so we should listen to our mother, and we are coming to Advent, so this is that time. If you're one of those people that rides around a lot in their car, this is the time to double down, to triple down on the rosary, pray that rosary to give the Blessed Virgin Mary the honor that God wishes to give her, and we can help in this mission and spread the rosary with others. So yeah, don't be afraid. Pick up the phone, call somebody, be like, hey, do you want to pray the rosary? You got a minute? Uh, it's just a wonderful, beautiful thing to do. So I would encourage myself, but also all of us to, as we approach this time of penance, this time to do more sacrifices and more prayer, make the rosary one of those items that's top on your list and you'll be amazed at the difference that can happen in your life as well as in others and so that's what i wanted to say so everyone thank you for listening pray the rosary god bless